So where are we going, Mama? Going to Aunt Maggie's house for Easter. Oh boy, what what are we bringing? Well, we're bringing a couple things. We're gonna bring just a couple. Just a few. Um, rice chips with hummus. Everybody likes that. That's a staple. We always bring that. Rolls with um, rolls. Rolls with rolls. Penne bread or pain bread. Pa bread. Pane bread, pain bread. bread. Pain, pain bread. Painful bread. Yes. Um, you you made a lentil salad. It, it was no lentil. It was uh, black beans. It was like my legume salad. Legume salad. I, I, I posted a recipe video of it very recently. Um, so you have to check that out. It's pretty easy. You just uh, do... Um, or I'll, I'll look at you guys when I'm talking. Uh, just like some uh, frozen corn peas, uh, just like frozen vegetables, uh, some beans, and then hummus, which is more beans, and then some salsa. Um, I would have put hot sauce in if, on it if it was just me eating it, but it's not, so I didn't. And uh, anyway, Mom, what else are we bringing? I also made an apple crumble. Oh, yeah, that, I'm, I'm super pumped about that. It's from what was the recipe book you got it from? The Vegan Baking Book by Colleen Patrick Goudreau. Yeah. The joy of vegan baking. The joy of vegan baking. Looks pretty good. Um, oh, and I made a gigantic salad. Um, so that's got, uh, was it 11 ounces of spinach and baby spring mix or something like that? Uh, and then I got a pint of grape tomatoes, um, 12 ounces of corn, a can of black beans, uh, green pepper and a red pepper, and I think that's about it. Um, normally what I do is I'll just like a giant salad out and I'll let everyone pick through it as much as they want. Normally people just put like a little bit of a side salad on their food, um, on their plate. And then I just pretty much eat the rest out of the bowl <laughs> um, because no one really goes back for seconds for salad, um, unless you're me. Uh, so that's, is that all that we're bringing? Or? Yeah, usually I bring oven roasted potatoes, but uh, I just didn't have time. So you made that salad, that colorful, beautiful salad, so I yeah. think that's good enough. Yeah. I don't want to be a whiny vegan that says, there's nothing here I can eat. Yeah. Is this vegan? Is this have vegan? honey in it? Yeah, so we brought like half the food to the party because because we want to uh, know what is in our food. We don't want to have to ask. We're not whiny vegans. We're badass vegans. Yeah, we're vegans who actually take action. Um, and uh, what what are do you have some any other reasons why you bring a bunch of food to parties? Because I like to eat. Yeah, and also one one reason I like to bring a bunch of food to parties is because. A lot of food that people may have at parties may not be vegan, but if you have uh, vegan food there, especially food that looks good, like I try to really make it like uh, aesthetically pleasing, just like I would try to make it look really good because I want a lot of my relatives to just try vegan food. I want them to try it and be like, oh, I guess vegan food's not so bad. Uh, actually, I made vegan meatballs the other day, and uh, yeah, and my sister said that they look like meat, they taste like meat. And uh, the texture was like me, and she was like not convinced that it wasn't me. Uh, and we had one of our friends try it, who's an omnivore. He said the same exact thing. So I got the the omnivore's uh, thumbs up. All right, so this is my uh, Easter snack. Um, we left the party a little bit earlier uh, because I have to get picked up by my friend to go back to school, and uh, I don't know if I would have time to eat this at home. So what I did is I just took the uh, salad that I made and I mixed it with the legume salad because it sort of makes like its own dressing um, So at the party I had of course the salad. I had the legume salad I had the apple crumble which mom made and it was fantabulous must have been because that dish is empty Yep. Oh, yeah, and actually I'm I'm eating out of the the apple crumble dish You can, you can still kind of see the crumbs there, but hey, I don't mind mixing dessert with my uh, snack so um, Let's see what else was there that we uh, was there any other vegan options that we didn't bring? Is there fruit salad? Not the, oh, there's another salad this time. Right. Someone, oh, someone else brought another yeah. salad. Um, there's there's like, strawberries. Yeah, there's like strawberries, I think like some flax seeds or something, and like mandarin oranges. Um, so, you know, other good options. Uh, I didn't really have that one just because I had so much of my own uh, stuff that I brought. My mom's friend's probably about 82 and she's got an autoimmune disorder. I, it wasn't real specific what she had, but she's interested in the vegan diet because the drugs aren't working. Yep. And she wants to be better. Yeah, yeah, and like, and she knows that I've done a lot better uh, through veganism. Uh, so I started talking to her about uh, what I've done, and she seemed really interested. Like she really wanted to try it. And uh, my my grandma, who's not vegan, was encouraging her to do it as well. So that'd be cool if uh, her friend did it, and then encouraged her. Like, hey, I'm doing real well. Maybe you should try it. Uh, and we recommended uh, the Starch Solution by uh, Dr. John McDougal, and we wrote it down on a piece of paper so that they don't forget. <laughs> it's really important to make sure that people don't forget. Um, yeah, what, what did, what did you have for at the, the pate? The legume salad, the regular salad, some of that pain bread. 
Pane bread. <laughs> What else do we have? I think we, we probably had roughly the same thing just because yeah. there's there was a decent amount of vegan options, but we just all we just varied what we Some ate. Some of my little nieces had like nothing on their plate. Mine was creepy. Yeah, mine. I had I had a lot on my plate. Um, it, it was pretty much like this. This is like what I ate, except for without the uh, apple crumble mixed in. I just ate it separately. But this was what I had for Easter, and since I'm eating a lot right now, I probably won't have to eat again later. Um, although I may finish the salad before my friend goes um, picks me up, but. I really just don't want to go home to back to school and have to cook something for dinner when I have all this food right here. Like, it's free food, and I like free food. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed seeing what I ate for Easter. Um, I'm trying to, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm trying to show you guys what I eat on uh, holidays and uh, family gatherings and stuff like that. So if you guys haven't checked out my what we ate for Christmas or what I ate for Thanksgiving, be sure to check those videos out. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys later.